Good morning, my dear friends. I welcome you all warmly into the world of success. So today's topic is very important, as I told you. So let me ask you one simple question. Have you ever thought of introducing yourself to anyone? So where is this? It is very simple, right? So the people who might have faced the interviews, the very first question that they face, invariably, the very first question is that, tell me about yourself. So this is a common practice. Any interviewer asks this question. So whether it is a small company, a local company, or whether it is an MNC, wherever it is, what is the, whatever is the size of the organization, whatever is the industry type, the, in the interview, the very first question that they ask is, tell me about yourself. So in the angle of an interview scenario, self-introduction is important. In the same way, whenever you meet uh, a friend and he is introducing you to his another common friend. So your friend uh, is introducing to another friend. Now that uh, in the, during that particular occasion, you are new to that person. So you need to introduce yourself in a gathering, in a private gathering, in a function, and in a, while you are traveling, wherever and in whichever situation, whenever you meet any new people, you need to introduce yourself. So it is one thing is for sure. <clears throat> you need not introduce yourself to your close friends. You need not introduce yourself to your family members. So you need to introduce yourself to the new people. So this is one way of looking at it. So you need to introduce yourself to the new people. I put it in inverted commas, N-E-W, the new people you need to introduce. Well, what is so uh, strange thing about it? Yes, we need to introduce ourselves to the new people only. That is what we think. Now, let us think in another uh, angle. So it means what? The strangers, the new people, those who do not know about us till that time, for the first time in their life, they are coming across uh, to know about us. Now, this is the occasion where they are going to form the first impression about ourselves. Am I right or wrong? So it's an occasion where the people are forming the first impression about ourselves. Now, you might have come across many proverbs, like the first impression is the best impression, right? Now, the first impression is the lasting impression. Lasting means the permanent. So the first impression is the best impression. The first impression is the lasting impression. Now, let me tell you one more funny thing. You will never get the second chance. You will never get the second chance to form the first impression. For example, now I initiated this talk. Somehow, uh, at the back of my mind, I get a kind of feeling that, oh, my God, I did not impress these people properly. So now I tell that, okay, now cancel, touch. Again, I will start. So kindly form the first impression. Is it possible? No. Whether the good thing or whether the damage, whatever has to happen has already happened. So the first impression is the lasting impression. In this regard, let me tell you very quickly one important thing. Please be clear that the first impression can never be formed by the way we wear the clothes, the way we dress, or the kind of gadgets that we use, the kind of uh, uh, costly, lavish way that we present ourselves. Through these things, the people will never form the real first impression. So whether you are carrying a very costly gadget, whether you are uh, traveling in a very costly car, or whatever, the way you dress, the kind of gadgets that you use, the kind of vehicles that you use, through this, the people are not going to form the real first impression. But the ad industry, the advertising industry is misleading you. If you buy so-and-so company phone, then only you will get respect from the society. If you travel by so-and-so company car, then only people will respect you. If you wear so-and-so company's branded dress, then only you will get respect from the society. So these are the kind of misconceptions which are created by the ad industry, the advertising industry. That is their job. So it means what? The vulnerable people, the people who do not have the real self-esteem, the people who do not value their self-worth, they get carried away and they constantly they run after the brands. 
if i wear so and so branded clothes then only i will be rewarded regarded i will be respected so these are all the wrong concepts my dear friends let me tell you one powerful thing please remember it lifelong this is the golden word you are going to get so the people will form the real first impression by the way you speak the way you communicate the way you speak the way you present yourself based on that only the people are going to form the real first impression the first impression which is carried by of course people form some kind of opinion about you the moment you they look at you the moment they look at your dress the moment they look at your gadgets or whatever the people form some kind of opinion immediately but that particular impression which is formed by your external appearance that is a transient that is transient temporary it lasts hardly for 10 seconds then after that your real worth is observed the real worth is uh, noticed by the way you speak now imagine that uh, you, you are standing in a bus stop now suddenly you come across a gentleman he is wearing a uh, uh, greatest wonderful dress a suit he is wearing cleanly polished uh, shoes and is carrying wonderful costly laptop and he is uh, carrying a very costly cell phone and gold color frame uh, spectacles so the way the moment you look at him you form very good first impression so you may be then the next thing that you get in your mind is that why is he standing in this bus stop the way he look the way he appear he must be working for some great industry in a very great position what happened to his own vehicle what happened to his car oh he is a great person now you try to talk to him and you try to introduce because to be on the safe side if we have got relationship with uh, people influential people it is going to do for us it is do, going to do something good for us the, with, with that impression you go there and you try to introduce yourself hi i am so and so then that particular person immediately he says that in a typical village accent in typical village language he says that hey Uh, i do not know what you you are speaking in english i cannot understand and in fact i am uh, i am working for a drama company in fact my name is son so i am working for a drama company today we have got uh, a stage show at so and so uh, auditorium i am just going there today i am playing the role of an industrialist over there it means what he is not good at language whether it is english or some other language forget it it is not about the language i am talking about but the way he expresses a typical uh, uneducated way the person who is uneducated uncivilized and in his uh, language there is no respect and he does not know the proper words to express also so he is a, he is an illiterate so that is the first impression you got now now the complete introduction the impression whatever you formed about him by the way he dressed and through his appearance and all whatever previous impression you carried in your mind now that goes down now the real impression now you are going to carry lifetime is based on the way he spoke so my dear friends the way we speak the way we interact with others based on that only the people are going to form the real lasting permanent first impression so why am i saying this in case uh, any one of us are worried about the complexion of the skin oh i am a bit dark i need to purchase so and so cream so that uh, i will appear to be fair fair and all uh, <laughs> fair and lovely or whatever so i may appear lovely i may appear fair no actually the color of the skin the complexion has no role to play your self worth and your skills and your self belief and your self esteem these are the things which are going to get you respect you might have seen uh, in fact i am a great fan of rajinikanth in fact i do not know honestly speaking i did not watch much of his movies but whenever he appears on the screen i get a kind of goosebumps i get carried away wow so why is he really handsome is he very fair in complexion does he have wonderful hair style or is he very tall in nature does he have a six pack body now all the typical definitions of a handsome man do he does he carry no but despite that 
he has got fans across the world and he is the highest paid actor in south asia now in the same way you might have come across the news about an actor who is very handsome and he has got six pack body and of course he is a bachelor also but he was behind the bars he was in a jail because of his uh, uh, anti social behavior do we respect him no there are many such people who may be appearing handsome who may be appearing smart but when it comes to their behavior when it comes to their moral values based on they may not be up to the mark based on those things only we are going to carry the real first impression so my dear friends in case any of you have got self doubt about your height weight appearance or color of the skin complexion or uh, any other things do not worry you need to constantly work you need to constantly focus on enhancing your communication skills language skills if you are good at your expression and if you are going to use wonderful language and your wording the vocabulary and the sentence structure the phrases and the grammatically perfect sentence the empathy the soft skills taking the feelings of others into consideration all these things are the things which you need to practice so when you can win the hearts of the people the people are going to ignore the rest of the things so what is the need of the hour this is the take away from this particular session and on monday i am going to give you in detail the self introduction can be done within four words or at the most two sentences so again it's a, a debatable thing people feel that sir self introduction means uh, uh, how should i give what are all the ingredients that i need to have of course in our regular sessions i have got uh, a particular we call it as a landmark 2 in our learning process the landmark 2 is all about uh, the detailed self introduction that is okay but sir, on a couple of occasions we get very limited amount of time within fraction of seconds you have to introduce yourself so that is what we call as the elevator pitch so on monday i am going to talk in detail about the elevator pitch within two sentences first sentence is what your name so now about myself let me tell you i am dr vivekanand rayapeddi i train the professionals and celebrities to speak english fluently and naturally through my powerful module paperless fluency that's it now next thing people uh, ask is oh that's really great come on tell me more about yourself in case i get the appointment hardly for 30 seconds i get an appointment hardly for 30 seconds with any decision maker any influencer in the world now i, I cannot afford to give my lengthy self introduction so why at that time what do i need to do i need to use this technique it is called the elevator pitch so again i repeat hello i am dr vivekanand rayapeddi i train the professionals and celebrities to speak english fluently through my powerful module paperless fluency that's it now it creates interest it arouses interest level the opposite person in case he is really in need of my services either for his team or for himself then he stops and then he gives his visiting card and then he may ask me to come and meet him on so and so date he gives me an appointment he gives me an appointment uh, where i get a reasonable amount of time to talk to him so this is what the elevator pitch is all about so if i carry a costly phone if i wear a very costly dress in the world and if i go in the costliest car in the world even if i have all these inputs there within that particular 30 seconds of appointment if i say not so effective way if i present myself in not so effective way then what does he do our next the next candidate only he calls so my dear friends be unique be unique and then do not be one among the crowd you have to be unique so and you can be i am there with you so my dear friends let us continue this success journey and again on monday we are going to meet